Next to me is the new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse. It is the most track capable five liter Mustang ever produced. My name is Alex. Today we're taking a look at the new Mustang Dark Horse. This here beside me is the seventh generation of America's favorite muscle car. Released back in 1965, this is the seventh generation, codenamed the S650. And the new Dark Horse variant is the most track capable 5 liter Mustang ever produced. The Dark Horse model is available in two different trim levels. We have the base Dark Horse and also the Dark Horse Premium like we have here. Also available with multiple different package offerings and options, one being the Dark Horse Handling Package. This is a very desirable package, similar to what you would see in a regular Mustang GT, like a performance package. That takes the Dark Horse, gives it wider and stickier tires, uh, more aggressive suspension, better aerodynamics, and downforce. And under the hood is a five liter V8 engine. Now this engine has been around for a long time. It's proven, it's reliable. And in this case, it's the most powerful variant ever produced. 500 horsepower and 418 foot pounds of torque. Lots of power, especially from a naturally aspirated V8 engine. Now it's available with two different transmissions, 10 speed automatic or the six speed manual. Now it's special about the manual. It's actually manufactured by Tremec. So it's a very, very strong transmission. Really, really nice short shift. Uh, and it also holds a lot more power in case you want to put a supercharger on it. Definitely handle the power a little bit better than the standard six speed, but it's definitely nice to still have that manual available. Now taking a look at the front end of the Mustang Dark Horse. We are gonna again, gonna have completely redesigned front end. We have new LED headlights. Also, again, this one has the handling package. So we are gonna get a larger front splitter. It does hang quite low, so you definitely have to watch that. Also another Dark Horse exclusive kind of design aspect is the sort of matte gray finish to the grill and also this lower piece of the headlight there. It's kind of one way you can distinguish a Dark Horse between a GT model, but just again, very aggressive styling with the front end of the Dark Horse model. And with the Dark Horse appearance package, we are actually gonna have a unique hood graphic here as well. Nice matte finish there, kind of matches the rest of the front end. Heat extractor there in the hood, that will vent a lot of hot air. Now making our way around to the side of the Mustang here, we are gonna have a much larger and wider wheel for the handling package equipped vehicles. Larger tire as well, 305 in the front and a 315 in the rear, so they're extremely wide. It is a Pirelli Trofeo RS, so it's basically a street legal track tire. And with that, six piston Brembo brakes come standard on Dark Horse, so you have massive stopping power. Now every single handling package equipped Dark Horse will actually come with these little wheel lip moldings right here. Because the tires are so wide, they actually stick out further than they're allowed to. So Ford actually has to ship those wheel lip moldings to, in order to comply with all the regulations because the tires are so wide. Now, where does the Dark Horse actually sit in the Mustang lineup? So this actually replaced the old Mustang Mach 1 that was available for the previous generation Mustang. Very, very similar key aspects with the wider tires that were available, and they were meant to be more track focused. So this actually replaced the Mach 1, but this is meant to be a sort of middle ground between a Mustang GT and the top of the line Shelby models. It's also only available as a fastback or a coupe, as most people call it. There is no convertible option of the Dark Horse. And now taking a look at the rear end of the Mustang Dark Horse. We're actually gonna have a larger spoiler with the additional gurney flap. It does come with the handling package, so you're gonna get more downforce and handling abilities. The rear diffuser is also larger for the Dark Horse model. It's gonna include the active valve exhaust, which is standard on every single Dark Horse. The sequential taillights are also still present here, which look super cool. And of course that exhaust sounds fantastic. Take a listen. And finally, the Dark Horse logo has now been introduced. So we have new logos, which do replace basically every single Ford logo on here. 
Now taking a look into the interior of the Mustang Dark Horse. Now there's actually two different interior options available. We have a black and sort of a blue and black. Because we have the appearance package, comes with the blue and black interior. It's a kind of a mix of leather and suede, so it's a nice combo. And there's also two different seat options. You have the standard bucket seat as well as the Recaro bucket seats. Now the Recaros have been around for quite a while, and those are for people who kind of want a more tightly bolstered seat. Keeps you in place a little better when you're going around corners, but they're fully manually operated, whereas the standard bucket seats are power, they're heated, they're cooled, they're very comfortable. So depending on your needs, you can kind of choose which one suits you best. Also with the uh, appearance package, you're gonna have the blue on the seats as well as the blue seat belt. So there's actually a nice blue seat belt here, which is really cool, just those little touches that you get. And now in the driver's seat here, uh, I mean, just a really nice interior. You know, you got the new dash layout with the dual screen setup, uh, very intuitive, a lot of technology packed into there for sure. The titanium anodized shift knob actually comes standard on all Dark Horse model. And that is actually now available as a Ford Performance part. So if you wanna pay for that, you can actually uh, have that ordered and, and put it on your non-Dark Horse Mustang if you wish. The electronic drift brake, Standard also on all Dark Horse models, uh, which is really cool. Magna Ride damping is also standard, so a lot of these kind of track capable features are standard. The climate control is now actually integrated in the bottom section of the screen here. Uh, your drive modes are actually right here, easily accessible on the steering wheel. So if you actually go ahead and cycle through different drive modes, you can actually have the gauge cluster screen display really, really cool animations here. And it'll kind of change the way the transmission, uh, the engine mapping behaves. Now, of course, this one does have the manual, but if you have the automatic, it will change the transmission mapping and the throttle response, as well as the traction control system. But I do want to dive a little bit deeper here into the center screen because this is a really the focal point of the new Mustang. There's a lot of really cool information integrated now in the screen. So this is going to be your home screen here. You do have navigation system and the radio and uh, phone settings there. But if you go ahead and click features, you have the new My Mustang. Now this is also accessible through this button right down here. You can also use kind of a shortcut. But if we click My Mustang, this will bring up some of the performance gauges and also some of your driving performance data. So right here in the lower right hand corner, you're gonna have your exhaust modes. Again, that active valve exhaust does come standard now on uh, all Dark Horse models. Uh, but starting here at the top, you're gonna have track apps acceleration timers, you have brake timers, you have uh, lap timers, all kinds of different timers and shift indicators. On the right side here is gonna be your drift brake control. So again, this is the new electronic drift brake and parking brake that kind of acts as two different things there. And then you're gonna have line lock system for doing a burnout at the uh, drag strip. Launch control uh, also is now standard on Dark Horse. You can actually change the uh, RPM as well. Uh, it has quite a wide range, up to 7,000 RPM in case you want to do a 7,000 RPM launch. You've got your rev matching right down there for the manual transmission. And then we'll go back, you can have auxiliary gauges as well. So this is really cool. You can change the gauges up if you want to go uh, you know, oil pressure, you have your battery voltage there and, and, and a G meter right in the middle. And then custom mode, this is where you're actually gonna change the custom mode here on the steering wheel. So again, we do have that custom mode here um, and you can change the uh, individual kind of aspects of that, your suspension, steering, traction control, uh, which is really neat. And then you're gonna have the My Color. This has been around in the Mustang for quite a while now, but it is still available here in the Dark Horse. So you can change the ambient lighting and then the uh, cluster theme. This is where you've seen, you may have seen this in a lot, of, a lot of different press videos, the Fox body kind of design there for the gauge cluster. That looks super cool for those people who want that kind of heritage feel to it. It is now available. So this new center screen here is really, really cool. And the Dark Horse Premium does come standard with the 12 speaker b sound system. So if you're looking for that premium sound, you're gonna have to go with the premium. But that'll pretty much do it for this video. If you're interested in a Dark Horse model, you can give us a call. You can visit our website, mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.